What's up guys? Today we're talking about speed. Wildly important part of the game and as a pro we work on our speed every week. These five core key components are gonna help you guys so make sure you take them seriously. Let's get going. Guys, the only real way to improve your speed is to be faster than everyone at everything. Yeah! You are not a gentleman, sir. Woo! Yep. Ooh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he wasn't ready for that. He was <laughs> All right guys, pilometrics, which is essentially jump training. These are exercises that are gonna teach your muscles to put out maximum force in a small amount of time with the goal of increasing power, speed, and explosiveness. We're gonna keep things as simple as possible. So you see B in the first example, jumping out at a slight angle, alternating feet, and really pushing off as soon as he hits the ground. You can do these one-legged as well. Notice that I still pump my arms as I hop. As I get to the end, I go back to the bounds for a few steps and then sprint out a little and bring it to the other side. Double leg jumps or broad jumps are perfect for more than just your speed. They'll actually affect your vertical jump, which is just another aspect of the game everybody can improve on. Start with both legs just a little more than hip distance apart and bend and look to jump as far forward as you possibly can. Get set for a second and go again. These are the type of movements that a lot of players miss out on because they seem unimportant or too easy, but with repeated work, they'll leave you with much more power and explosiveness in your sprint. You have to work on your explosive movement if you want to get faster. So we get things kicked off with these over the ball jumps because it's one of our most taxing movements. You're aiming for a balance between speed and a good sized vertical jump. The second you hit the ground, you explode back up and over. These are an excellent way to work on driving through the ground with your leg in order to truly push off. Stand with both legs pushing the wall and start with one leg up at a 90 degree angle. Drive your standing leg forward and up. Once you've got a good rhythm, you can increase the speed and work on pushing even harder each time. Next up are box jumps. Remember, explosive work is the section where we'll work the hardest and it's the beginning because we need to be fresh, so push yourself. We'll be alternating feet. Start with your foot on a box or small ledge and drive up and extend. You'll land on the other foot and go straight into pushing up from there. What this is doing is creating more strength in your drive and that will equate to a faster sprint. Squat jumps are classic for our explosive movement and leg strength, so they are not to be missed. You may remember earlier how we modified these by adding twists, which of course can be done by exploding and turning in midair and then turning back the other way. You will definitely start to feel these, so do your best to get through all of the reps with proper form. A lot of guys skip this type of work growing up because they just don't want to bother with a band and that's just too bad because the amount of benefits you're going to get from doing these exercises is worth the two seconds it would take to get a little piece of rubber. As a pro, you'll do exercises like this at least twice a week. There are an infinite number of ways to use the band, but for what we want today, this exercise is perfect. All we're doing is mimicking a sprint. Hook the band to your ankle behind you and raise it up as if you were running. Move your arms as well and try to stay fluid. Even easier to get a hold of is this type of band. Just put it around your ankles and basically go for the same thing. You can alternate legs, driving your leg up and then repeating on the other side. The key is to get resistance with the sprinting motion, which will make you much faster. This movement is going to strengthen and stabilize your legs. We're doing these without weight and that's more than fine for today. We're gonna to be in the gym soon so you don't have to worry about all that, but we'll place one foot on a bench or ledge and lower straight down. Try to minimize the wobble and don't let that front knee get out in front of that ankle. If you've ever done these, then you know how incredibly beneficial they are for your legs. If you can manage to do them without hanging on to anything, then great. But it's not a problem to lightly hold on to something at first to keep your balance. Go as low as you can while keeping your front leg as straight as you can. If you're not ready for that yet, just go as low as possible while staying steady and increase the reps just a little bit. Obviously. 
you're not going to improve your overall acceleration and speed unless you push yourself. So to close everything off, we got a series of sprints, increasing in distance and finishing with a small shuttle run. Football requires massive change of direction movement, so you've got to make sure you get those in as well. We've got a few quick sprints where the focus is on getting up to your maximum speed. We'll start with 10, 20, and 40 yards. When we get to our shuttle runs, we'll set up markers about five yards apart. Work on pushing off well after each deceleration. Guys, these drills will benefit you in more ways than one, so if you can get through them, do it. If you can't, take breaks, do what you gotta do, but make sure to get in the habit of doing something every day that'll make you a better player. Like, comment, and you better subscribe. Peace.